but I'd like you to give them a round of applause for what they're doing. A crowd of about 50 people gathered in a small Fredericton church on Thursday night to nominate a new NDP candidate for the Fredericton North riding. They picked Brian DePlacy to run for the seat now held by the Conservatives. Kelly Lamrock, a Liberal who switched over to the NDP, was the host. He welcomed the new nominee. While fighting back tears, DePlacy thanked his family and friends for their help. He said he's thrilled to see so many people coming out to support him. You know, to have individuals come out, all of whom I know, who come out to support me in doing this, it's a bit humbling. NDP leader Dominic Carty was the guest speaker. He says DePlacy will be a very strong candidate. I think there's a, that professional background that he brings to the table that makes him an incredibly powerful MLA and a candidate for the NDP. So I'm really thrilled that he's going to be running for, uh, for my party in Fredericton North in the next campaign. Cardi spoke about the next election and the work that needs to be planned to run a strong campaign. He says the meeting brought together an energetic crowd, but when it's over and the crowd leaves, the hard work only continues for party members. It's always one of those things in politics that you have the great meetings like this and you get lots of people turn up and people who've never been involved in the party before and people are pumped. But then for the folks in the party and for Brian starting tomorrow, it's that hard work. It's getting out there, making sure that he knocks on every single doorstep in the constituency. DePlacy understands his new position won't just be fun and games. There is just so much hard work to do. Uh, as much as this is positive and getting this kind of turnout for a nomination meeting is positive, is that I don't underestimate what's going to be thrown at us over the next year. Brian DePlacy might be the first candidate to be officially nominated, but within the next couple of weeks, we should see many more candidates nominated. With the MB Beacon, I'm Anika Davenborden.